Good afternoon, guys. Um, this is my garden in August. Flux are blooming. It has been blooming like this for a week. You can see some of the spent flowers already over there. Yeah. And the one that tall the flower in the background is a white hardy hibiscus. And my hydrangea. The, chin, the hydrangea just started um, popping out buds. So, isn't she gorgeous here? It's a purple flux. And if you look at here, these are my false dragon head. There. Mm -hmm. Above there, we mix. Uh, it's mixed in with my uh, branch of the pear, pear tree. There's some um, blue hydrangea in there, and a pink phlox. You can see I got, I got plenty of pear, pears in there. Yeah. They're getting bigger, that's for sure. I bag some as my experiment. There's more pear in there. In there. I have more of this um, false dragon. Head, false dragon head. Some of them are just started opening, like that one. So lots of them. Yeah. More flocks. Yes, it's, it's at the beginning. My three hydrangea. Yeah. It's a very young. Um, buds right now they're gonna turn into um three different color white right now and then um red and then maroon purple like that purplish maroon stuff later this um year and that one there is my hardy pink hibiscus it's been blooming too yeah Yeah, there are some uh, just barely open three hydrangea blossom. It's yellow green. Then when they pop open, they turn white. Ever changing colors. Look at that. Look at this, guys. so immature right now that one is more advanced now it's um white that one here so very gorgeous I love this got two big bushes in there and it's one the back fence and the front of the house the side of the house yeah I just grew them from the cuttings. Yeah. And that one right there, guys, is my Rose of Sharon. Look at that. 
a lot of buds but some are open that's a red eye right there but it's a multi layer um, petals got lots and lots of buds right there tons of buds Look at that. Very shy looking one. Yeah. It's gorgeous. And right over there, behind the cherry tree, I have a lot of, rose of purple rose of Sharon in there. Started opening as well. It's, yep. Right there behind the cherry tree. I, won't, I don't want to go there. A lot of mosquitoes there. And that's a beautiful canna lilies. I think it's what it called um, Inferno canna lily. Look at the leaves. It's like on fire. Unbelievable. Just a beautiful, beautiful foliage. You can see why I grew this. <laughs> oh, goodness. And that one is the first bloom of my, uh, uh, for this season, first bloom of this Spartacus Dahlia. Yeah. Very, very tall Dahlia. And that what you see in there guys is when the squirrel is trying to teach me a lesson for bagging my fruits. Yeah. I lost three of the bags because of the pesky squirrels. That's how bad my squirrels here and they are very pesky. Squirrels. Not like I don't give them enough fruit for themselves. They still want the thing that I want to keep for myself. This one in there, like three weeks ago, before I harvested um, the rest of the plums. Yeah, by the way, this is the plum fruit. And I bagged some of the, as experiment, I bagged some of the plums. And this one, three weeks ago, I found this in the backyard, hanging eerily in my red maple tree, just dangling like that, swinging in the wind. And I said, oh my goodness, what is my organza bag doing in there? When I saw it, it was emptied and it has a rip. This is one of the bags that I only tied in the, in the fruit, not in the branch. So the squirrel was able to steal it and bring it in the backyard and eat the goodies and hang it in there for me to see. Like... The squirrel is teaching me a lesson, right? But the only thing lesson I learned is that I have to harvest my fruits before it ripens in the tree. Yeah, good job squirrel for teaching me a lesson. It's actually kind of funny, but <laughs> I'm a little bit sad that I lost three of the pretty purple bag. And this one here, because... um. I tied this one in the, when I bag the plum fruit. I tied that like that. I tied the, I put a nut in the in the branch. That's why the squirrel had no choice but to eat it in the tree, and it just put a hole just like this, guys. Look at that! It just put a hole in there, and it eat the fruit in there, and just left the carnage inside. And I. It's been like three weeks, you know, and then um, it just, it got cleaned out like that. See the holes? I'm so disgusted. The squirrel had no respect whatsoever. Well, it's an animal after all. Yeah, that's lesson learned from the squirrel to me that I have to harvest my fruits before it ripens 
in the tree because they are gonna steal it you're gonna eat it either I bag it or not they don't care about the boundaries that I put in there yeah well I'm not mad at the squirrel they're just being squirrel yeah and these are my apples look at that I thought this one is yellow delicious because the tag when I purchased this a long time ago yellow delicious but I'm still hoping that it is but I don't think so there are some sun kissed in this one I'm still hoping that it's gonna turn yellow and and it's gonna really be yellow delicious but right now it's like um yellow green and this organza bag here I put it snugly in there not tight but just snug and so far it's really working against the pest but I know what I noticed the one the bag that I put loosely in here that the airwig can still get in and that the airwig can still do damage on the fruit the airwig can still bite just like that one then I what I do is I have to like open it up remove the bag and then let the airwig out and then retie it again in there yeah this is what I did but next time I make sure I have to make sure that I will bag it this one would work against pest but not against squirrel and including the one in the nets the um, the heavy wind uh, windstorm knock some of the fruits of the tree and the squirrel also sometimes been eating and I have been picking up the squirrel leaf overs like like this one this happened today and this one look this is the squir squirrels damage when when they play hide and seek in there or they're tasting uh, look at this guys it's perfectly good apple the squirrels tried to I don't know they were just running around in there or chasing each other and they knocked this fruit down I tasted this and hubby and I tasted this fruit um two days ago to make sure that you know um if I can see um the, I mean how mature they are but they are still actually young it's um the seeds are still white inside so they are not ready but the squirrel has been tasting this so much yesterday I picked up three like this size and there is like evidence in there and there's a couple over there yeah oh there's another one you guys here's another one look at this squirrel what do I do with these it's just being mean to me yeah like it's unblemished apple too guys like it's unblemished apple and they just just take it out I don't know such a waste really waste I think I'm just gonna throw that away in the trash yeah good guys I have many many apples in there especially and un underneath the branch over there the other side there's a lot of apples and lots of apples there that one I have a that apple there had sun kissed it's still young I like like I said hubby and I tasted it and the seeds are still white but the moment the seeds turn brown I will start harvesting them and just ripening them in the cupboard inside then uh, hubby can do make them into an apple sauce yeah I don't know what kind of variety this is because I think they planted this as uh, from the yellow delicious seeds yeah a lot in there guys but the squirrel they just I don't even know what to say with a squirrel. And these are my peaches, guys. I have no idea what kind of variety this one because when I planted this, 20 late 2014, 
yeah, I think autumn of 2014, I think. And it's it's supposed to be five in one peach tree, but it didn't take. I don't know. I the one that grow in there is from the base. It's probably the rootstock. I have no idea, but it grew peaches anyway. I think this is gonna be a late late harvest late harvest on um, peaches because um it's not coloring up yet yeah the thing is this is not safe from squirrel again so I'm not gonna let that ripen in here I'm gonna start um, to color up and I uh, yesterday I removed four fruits in there that's been um, eaten badly by um, plum curcolio I think and it's just disgusting to look at and there's in the top in there that I cannot see there are two discolored in there and it looks like really badly damaged I can't reach it oh sorry you can't see but they are there but but there's a lot of fruits there I only bag the one that I can reach and I can do on a small ladder like this but also guys this I mean this organza bag had a extra um, thing in the top right here so it's really hard to bag this um, peaches so um, I think a couple of these bags are I bag it I tied it loose and then the airwig got in you get to see the evidence in there and the airwig was still able to bite the fruit inside. I can see the discoloration in there. And also, if you bag it loosely, I think that the insect can still get in because one of the fruit inside I had to take it out because it looks like there's a curcul you get inside in there. It's just, just horrible. It was sticky. And just horrible, so I have to like next time I had to make it um, snug, really snug um, thing, or maybe just not bag this. Just I'll just bag the apples instead. I've I still have to decide all that stuff next year because this is the first time it's fruiting. So I was getting excited of my experiment. Now I find out that that organza bag or maybe any type of bugging doesn't work on squirrel if you let it ripe in the tree but if you're like taking it out once a squirrel tried tasting it and the color is right there matured just ripen it in the counter because like um the pest won't get to it but the squirrel does and if you I I didn't tie it it's so snuggy so does the air we got into some of my uh, peaches right there so it bites some it bite there and then it has discolored in the skin and I remove one because of that too so I know next year what to do yeah but the organza bag it works in a paste because I I have harvested uh, perfect plums so unblemished plums, but those are, um, I ripened them in the counter as well because um, you saw the three bags as a squirrel busted open to steal the fruit. It was a carnage. And this one here, I have to snugly tight, tighten next year because the airwig can still get in and it happened on my pear tree, pear fruit as well. I have to let out some of the airwig because I didn't um, secure the top and airwig does damage as well yeah like that one in there it's not a hole it's just like a brown spots I don't know what the airwig did to that the squirrel will still get this one like I said organza bag or maybe any other bag is just not if we're talking about squirrels this this one doesn't protect squirrel yeah they just go in there and sit and eat and put a hole in the bag 
That's what it did to my plums. Yeah. Hey, I didn't realize my roses are re-blooming. Look at that. Yeah. Re-blooming. It's so over there too, my dainty. My pink cushion dainty pink rose also re-blooming. And look at this. The front yard, more of the um, hydrangea tree flower. Look at that. Yeah. And pan around right there. That's my flux and my hardy viscous. And oh my gosh, there's a lot of um, the side of the yard. There's a lot of um, black-eyed Susan still in there blooming. Yeah, and a few day lilies. Well, look at that. Let me zoom in. Yeah. Let's take a um, close-up look in that hibiscus there. Let's go down there. Okay, guys. It is sunny, but it's I can feel a few drops of rain. Sunny and raining. Weird, cli weird climate here. Look at that. It was actually sunny earlier, and at 1 p.m. it started raining, and I didn't know about that. Then I get out to start filming. That's why the leaves are wet. Yeah. So sunshine and raining must be fiesta in heaven very nice it's a light pink in the petals but the eyes is very red or hot pink people just call it red you know look at that what kind of bug is that so awesome I mean it's very small flower I prepare the one that's really like a dinner plate size you know but this is what I got yeah are more hardy hibiscus they have been blooming for a um, couple of weeks now I think there's a lot because this one here below this are the ones forming seeds now yeah a lot there big this is the blocks the rain destroyed their perfect shape before it's been blooming And let's spy. I spy on my little eye something orange in there. <laughs> let's see that one. Let's see that next. I want after this flower here. Oh, see that, guys? The eyes. The eyes is so pretty. Yeah. And this one is. I never expected this to bloom today. I planted this. Uh, late or almost did bulb i found in the store this is a double tiger lily yeah double tiger lily i'm so excited and look at this when this one mature i'm gonna put that drop this in the ground where the others stand so that i can have more look at that it's a bulb bills takes a while to um flower though but at least it's gonna be alive there yeah and yesterday I've been feeding this um, Epsom salt to green up, you know. And this is my um, citrus here in the pots. And look at my cal calamansi or limoncito, guys. They are getting bigger. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. So I gave them a tablespoon of Epsom salt yesterday. Look at that. But the fruits are getting bigger, so I'm not worried about it. More. More very nice limoncito. Yeah. There. 
very nice limoncito can't wait for them to grow and so that I can have a juice out from them and it's still alive the annual here so Gerbera daisy Magnificent color. Now I'm up here. Seeing all the flux up close. Guys. They'll be blooming for more than a week. At least two weeks. Yeah. all this like that and get ready for it black eyed susans <laughs> just right there yesterday I trimmed some of the um, foliage on the um, peony there there was a bunch of peony leaves in there and they already started getting a powdery mildew so I trimmed it lower and in the autumn I will trim it off all the way to the ground and cover it with mulch for next season's flowers yeah it's a whole parade of black-eyed Susans in there yeah nice and ready for it guys look 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 ta-da my Cinderella pumpkin. First time I ever grow this one. Oh my gosh. My sister already wanted to eat this one. She said she's gonna steal this. <laughs> oh. Look at guys, it's so big and so orange. Amazing. my gigantic Cinderella pumpkin or kalbasa kalabasa in Tagalog look at that that's my hand oh my god so big guys so big beautiful kalbasa it's um I looked it up and it's um French heirloom variety yeah so happy about this <laughs> yes I have some uh, flowers here too in the side of the garden more black eyed Susan in there yeah, that's the other side of the hydrangea tree lily yeah that's my guava. I don't always put this in my video because it's small. I planted it from seeds. I had plenty of them, but I only saved this one. I can only grow one in this pot. Yeah. And the more you did hit this, Arizona Sun Gallardia, you're gonna keep coming back. The thing is to just to keep did hitting them. Sometimes I do forget and then I lose the flowers. You know, I should have cut it shorter, but I don't have the seesaw right now. Oh, I'll come back for it. I had to make some mental note for it. But it smells good though. Hmm? Yeah. So vibrant in here. Very nice. Oh, I found another apple, guys. Oh my gosh. Let's see. In the floor. Oh no guys, look at, oh no, look at guys, three apples, one, and there's two more over there, it's underneath the hitches, that one, I wonder if the squirrel's been hiding it there, or a woodchuck or something, I think the squirrel, yeah, granted I, I use squirrel because hubby and I saw a squirrel running around in there, and then the woodchuck can't, can't um, climb that high, so the only culprit is the squirrel and spot my goodness is gathering 
this is not even a ripe apples yet. Two, three. Four and five. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm just gonna give this to them and put this in the pile. This one, this are really unblemished apple. I am so so um sad about this. I'm just gonna give this to them and put this in their pile in there. 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 Squirrel pile. And I'm hoping also the birds get them because this box hedge right here. We can't we can't um chop this off because a lot of little birds live there. Yeah, sometimes early in the morning, 4 30 in the morning, they start singing already. They live in this hedge. Yeah. Well, got some flowers. I don't run out of flowers in here. Okay. And I also have the Rose of Sharon here, guys. And in the I chopped some rub I chopped the rosa rugosa in here in favor of my hanska plum cut. Yeah, but there are also rose of sharon there. What I'm trying to tell you here to show you is the apples. Yeah. There are apples right there. And apples right there. And underneath there. If you can see. There are apples right there, and they're near all these hedges. And there are apples. Apples. This is my Asian pear that I planted from seeds. Three of them, two in the front, and that I plant side by side. Bad idea. And this one here, I'm hoping that it's gonna fruit next year. Oh, okay, I'll leave you to that picture of the apples, guys. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.